welcome to a new series so in this series we are going to be managing Seattle Sounders we're going to be moving them to the English Championship which is the second division of England and we are going to be trying to take them all the way to Champions League glory from the bottom we are going to be doing a Seattle Sounders road to glory so let's jump right into it so this is the squad we're gonna start out with. So the positions I want to improve are right wing. I want one better centre back, just one. I think one will do. And um, maybe let's see. Maybe like a better defensive midfielder wouldn't than that. I think Jao Paulo is getting old. Svensson is too old to play for us. The only will keep his position in the squad, but I think. Oh, fine. So, a new centre back, a new centre mid, and a new right winger. Those are our current. Those are the current positions we need to improve. Maybe improve on squad depth as well. That would also be nice. So, let's get right into the short list. So, the two options for the defensive midfielders are Ronaldo Vieira. He's probably the first choice, and we've got Pedro Carrillo as well. Um, I think Ronaldo Vieira is just generally a boss in the in game, and I think he will do us the world tour. So this is Papu Sise. He plays for Olympiacos, and I think he'll be a very good addition to our squad. He's a phenomenal player, and I think that he's a future captain for us as well. And he's Senegalese, so that can be bad. Next up is Pedro Enrique. He's a captain. He's a leader. 77 rated. He's pretty. He's 26. He's about to enter his prime. I I think he would be a good. I mean, he would be a good player to have. But I would prefer that Papu Sise because he's younger and he's going to grow a lot. But he's still second choice if we don't get him. Ruben Semedo is just the last ditch attempt to sign a player if we can't get Papu or Pedro. So, for the wingers, the first choice is Pedro de la Vega. I'm sure you've heard of him in previous career modes. He is an absolute star. He grows to an 88 potential. He is an absolute baller in game and his stats are insane. He starts off at a 70, I think. But yeah, so second choice. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get Pedro de la Vega. But Tete and Uzi are the next two signings. Either of them would be fine if we can't get de la Vega. But let's be optimistic. The ideal signings would be de la Vega, Papu Cisse, and Ronaldo Vieira. Let's get into the first game of the season against Elas Verona of Serie A. Um, we're playing our first team because we want to win. But we are going to lose ship getting a goal off the bench. Uh, that's the first game. I simmed it because I couldn't be asked to play it. But yeah, let's just, you know, let's just get straight into the next game. I can't be asked to edit this either. Um, so we're playing against Amiens, League 1 team. Same starting lineup. If you wanted to see it, here it is. Um, yeah, obviously. Uh, should I swap out Ibarra on the right wing? Maybe. No, not really. Let's just let him play this game. We're simming it against Amiens. And it's going to be a one all draw. We'll take the point and go. We will take that point. It's going to be a crucial point for us. And uh, let's just finish up the group stage. Actually, if we win, I think we can qualify. I, I, think, I think we can win. But I'm not sure if we qualify or not. Oh, so we won. Okay. Luigi asked with the goal. Um, let's see. I'm not sure if we qualified or not. Oh, we did. Let's go to the semis of the European International Cup. And that's actually... Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. We just signed an absolute baller for 9 million. He was he was one of the first choice options I was talking about when we were going through the shortlist. He's going to be a huge player for the future. And it was an absolute bargain, if you ask me. He's got a high potential. And he is Senegalese, which could never be bad. I'm going to let you guess who it is. I'm pretty sure you already know. But yeah, welcome to the club, Papu Sise. Here we can see that Papu Sise signed for 9 million and he has taken the number 2, which was previously owned by Clint Dempsey. So some big boots to fill, but can he do it? I'm confident in Papu. I think he will be able to take us very far. And I see him as a future captain, honestly. But yeah, that's our first signing of the season. Welcome to Seattle Sounders, Papu Sise.
Our next signing will probably be uh, Petrolia Rafika is good, but I really want Tete. He's a baller and like I highly rate him. He plays for Shakhtar. We just joined them, so we can't buy him. Urzi is also good. I think we're going to have to go with De La Vega just because of time. I mean, I don't want to rush anything, but uh, I think we have to go for him. Yeah, let's go for De La Vega. Oh, I did not want to do that. I really want to Tete. He's got an 86 potential and he's already 73, so he's going to grow. He's going to fit into the Premier League if we get there this season. But let's give 5 mil for De La Vega. Mm, let's see if they accept it. Yeah, they did accept it. Um, let's give him a sixteen point yeah, a sixteen point five KOE contract and a twenty twenty one point five max. So just give him a sixteen I think he'll take around a sixteen point five. Not sure. He might just take sixteen. We offered him, but let's just try this let's save a few days. I think we can get him instantly. Yeah, I think it'll be he'll be in the club very soon. Yeah, already accepted. Welcome to Seattle Sounders. Pedro de la Vega, the Seattle Messi, coming over and he's going to take instantly take over the spot on the right wing. Here we can see in the news, picked up the number 14. I'll probably change his kit number in the future if he gets better. But yeah, let's just slot him in at right wing. And then we can get a quick look at how the squad is looking at the moment. And if I'm being honest with you, it's... It's looking pretty good. I mean, I w- we could do with this team as well. I mean, I might play now how for, like, when I'm playing the games and not simming them. I'm going to sim the easier games. But simply because he's got better pace and I'm like, pace is a big part of CPU or, like, playing. Now we're going in for the last player we wanted to sign this window. Uh, So, I'm pretty sure that most of you know who he is. He's a career mode. Gem actually is Ronaldo Vieira. <laughs> He's English. His name does not exactly correlate to his origin or place of birth. But yeah, I think I really want to get him. He's really good in game. So using him will be in CPU. CPU will be good. Yeah, 5 million. That's actually a pretty good deal for him. Let's try to. Yeah, I'm actually really happy to get him. I didn't think I would get him for so low. He's actually so good in game. That's why I'm offering him like what. 17.5k a week you know right, our offer for Vieira accepted and that I think that is gonna be a great signing I'm really happy about that but in any case welcome to Seattle Sounders FC Ronaldo Vieira so I just realized we still have quite a bit of money left and I thought maybe we could go for a natural left winger I know Morris is Morris is great, but I think maybe a natural left winger would fit our club with. But and I think we're gonna pay Uzi's release clause, and I think we're gonna go in for Uzi. He is really fast, and I think he would fit into this squad well. I'm gonna just remove everyone else from the shortlist. And except Tete because we're going to sign him next season. You already know. I'm promising you guys that. I promise you he will come to Seattle next season. But let's try to get this deal for Uzi over the line. Uzi has accepted our contract. So he will be coming over to Seattle. And he's a great a baller. And that makes it even better. He's got space as well. So welcome to Seattle Sounders. Agustin. Uzi. So I wanted to make one more signing. And I wanted him to take over in the future. I'm sure most of you know who he is. He is a baller of a player, and he will get him extremely cheap. He's gonna grow so high. It's Kiana Hoover, and I want him to take over the right back spot in a few years. But for now, Leo Dam will be holding it. But let's see. Maybe Kiana can put some pressure on. 3.5 million off of Swenson. I know he's. A big part of our squad but he's too old to be playing at the Sounders anymore. I want to make this a younger team. I, I think that the old trait of the MLS of how most MLS players are old I think that's not good for our squad especially if you want to do this long term and get Champions League glory. Uh, I think at the moment I think we need to I think we need to like I think we need to get younger players and get rid of the older players no matter how good they are 
get in some money and try to, you know, take this squad to the Champions League final. Taking questions now. So we're here for our first interviews. Seattle has run a form in pre-season with left fans wanting to more of the same once it starts to get serious. How does it impact this squad ahead of their first competitive match? I have faith in this team. Yeah, we. I. I. I think we can go far after this season itself. I think we can do a lot, and I think we just need to keep our heads in the right place. I think we need to stay. I know. I think we need to stay consistent. I think we need to finish the chances we make. We need to defend for our lives, and yeah, I think that's all we have to do. Is promotion more than a dream? I think we can. I think we are what it takes. I. I honestly. I, our squad is absolutely good. Uh, it's honestly, I think we can push for promotion. I think we can get promotion. We are gonna give it everything. We got all three of these answers apply, but we do have what it takes to get promoted. After Vieira's acquisition from, what do I expect of Vieira's de debut? Hitro is the right man. Yeah, I know it could take a while to settle in, but I'm sure he proves he's the right man. Eleven for the first game. We've sold Svensson. Uh, I think that yeah, you can probably get here ahead of Ibarra or yeah, and then we can have. I think we can have Burn on. For, yeah, I think this is the team we're gonna go for for the first game of the season. De La Vega on the right, Uzi on the left. That's gonna cause havoc. Play the ball into Rui Diaz, 84 pace. Rui Diaz is gonna be a next level baller he's gonna go down the history book this i this sorry this sounders team is going to be something else before we get into our first game i just want to talk about a few seasonal objectives i picked up this idea from s2g i'll put his link in the description so basically i'm going to be acting like so the club has given us six objectives for this season the first of which is called build the wall so basically we need to keep 15 clean sheets in the championship so far we've had zero because we haven't played the second is the Seattle Messi, which is to get 30 goal involvements with De La Vega. That's going to be tricky. Yeah, De La Vega is good, but I'm not sure if we can get 30 goal involvements. We really have to sweat this time. Next is the Peruvian marksman. Scored 20 goals with Rui Diaz. Rui Diaz is a baller. I'm sure we can do that. I mean, Rui Diaz is going to be like, we're going to be slipping the ball through to him and he's just going to be finishing them off. Yeah, I think we can get 20 goals with Rui Diaz. I think that's plausible, yeah. Yeah, I think we. I mean, I think we can. I'm not sure. Rui Diaz is good. He's very good, but I think we can get it. And like, okay, yeah. So the next ones are not today. El Loco, which is avoided losing to Leeds United. El Loco, Marcelo Bielsa, you get it. I mean, <laughs> Leeds are good. Leeds are very good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Leeds are probably the favorites for the championship, but. We need to avoid losing to them. So, do we play defensive when we play them? Or do we try to win? Or just, should we just go for the draw? Not sure. The first line of attack. Score six goals with my defenders. Okay, fine. I think we can do that from corners. Maybe a few from the fullbacks. And last one. Sniper. Score eight goals from outside the box this season. Wow. Okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> That's pretty hard. <sighs> I mean... Yeah, I, I mean, I get that why they want this from us. I think it's plausible, but I think that we're going to have to work very hard this season if we want to keep the job. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, that's it for now. Let's get right into the game. So the game is kicking off. Blackburn are starting. It's the first time we're going to kick off for a long, for a long journey. With Seattle Sounders and hopefully a road to glory. Ursi picks up the ball on the wing. Slips it through. Ball with Vera. Vera. He's done Williams. Vera going inside. He could have a goal here, you know. Vera has grabbed a goal on his debut. And what a goal it is. Within five minutes, he's taken out most of Blackburn's defence. And he's managed to put it in the top left corner. What a goal, Vieira. What an instant impact. I told you guys he was a baller in the game and he's already pro proving his money's worth. Vieira, who looks like he's been playing for the Sounders all his life, just wins the ball back and just before it goes to the centre-backs, avoiding any harm that could have been caused. Slip through for Lodero. Lodero, slips through. Ruiz, Ruiz Diaz. 
Oh, Louis Diaz, what was that? I gassed you up so much, but you just fluffed your lines again. My word. Shameful, Louis Diaz. Roland picks up the ball in midfield. He spotted De La Vega. Slips it through. Roy De Rio. Rui Diaz. Rui Diaz. Two and goal. Rui Diaz has finished it, making up for his earlier error and in some fashion. That's a proper striker's goal. What? That was actually a great through ball. And Rui Diaz makes no mistake and puts it to the left, bottom left corner. That's my Paraguay striker. Hold on. Picks up the ball again. Midfield. Vieira. Plays it through. Lodiero. Lodiero. Plays it back. Is he going? Yes. Vieira. Vieira's there. He's going to finish it. Oh, Vieira. What a classy finish. Sort of dinks it into the bottom right corner. And he just ran through their whole defense. Backbone Rovers could not be found. In, um, Vieira capitalized. They ran through the ball. It's going to, it's going to Armstrong. Oh, bloody hell, Armstrong has scored from absolutely nowhere. This is absolutely terrible. It's okay. It's still 3-1. You can still turn it around. Downing on the ball. He's pretty Johnson. Back to Nyambe. Nyambe going down the right wing. Plays it back to Johnson. Downing picks it up. Armstrong has scored the goal. Oh, good defending, guys. Oh, they won it back. And it's with Jones. Jones crosses it. Oh, Brandon misses. And hits the post. And then Rothwell. What was that? That was so scuffed. It hit the post like, what, twice? Oh my god, I'm so mad. Come on, guys. We have to be doing better than this. Uh, all with Armstrong wins it. Oh, Brandon got it. Get it back to Armstrong. Armstrong could have a chance. The last chance later in the game. Oh, uh, but the ball, ball is won back by Papu CC, and we do win. Yes, finally get in. That was such a nervy game. I was really scared there at the end. Thank God we were able to get the win over the line. Some really shaky defending. I don't want to see a repeat of that in the next games. We started off well, and Vieira was immense. Yeah, let's go talk to the press. So I'm here at the post-match interview. Um, so. The first question, how happy was I with my first win as the manager of Seattle? You know what? The lads did give me 100%. The defense was a bit wonky, but the the lads played admirably. They got the win. That's all that matters. Well, there is still a lot to do. The lads gave me the 100%, and I'm proud of what they did. CC was a god. Yeah, see, CC was immense. Yeah, he was great. Uh, Vieira. We had to see why we brought him in. Great day, Bolo. Thank you. So, guys, that was it for the first episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I'm going to have more coming out in a while. Um, the second episode is going to be a lot better quality than this. I've been doing a lot of research. And I think I know exactly how to have the perfect career mode, editing style, shooting style, recording styles, all those different factors. I think I'm going to master them by the time this is all over. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace out.